Hi guys, uh, so I thought I'll show you a small collection of plants that I have in my house. I uh, ha I don't have many plants, it's just about 20 plus and I've recently started uh, collecting plants. Uh, I have also killed a couple of them and I'm trying to revive some of them. Uh, let me just show you what I have in my bedroom. Uh, I have recently changed also the position or the placing of these plants. Most of these plants uh, that I have here and also the ones that I'll be showing you, uh, the ones that I have in my living room. I had these in my patio which was getting really bright uh, light from the south uh, facing sun. So they they were getting bleached basically. So it, it, the sun was not a problem, the plants were growing fine but the plants were kind of getting bleached. So I figured I should uh, get them back inside and uh, let me just show you some of the plants that I have in my bedroom. This is a dresser which uh, gets you know, pretty bright light, uh, an indirect bright light from uh, an east and south face, south sun. So let me just show you what I have here. So this is a peperomia which was basically a plant in this pot. It was really tall and uh, I kind of you know, cut out the stems and to, uh, just stuck those stems in two different pots. I'll show you one which is there in the uh, near the kitchen. Uh, so this is doing fine. I can also see a new growth. So this, this plant is, the, the peperomias, I believe they are one of the easiest plants to grow. You don't really need to worry much. Now you can see this, this leaf here, it did get a little bleached, I would say, but the rest of the leaves are doing fine. Even if it gets bright light, it, this plant will do fine. Next is uh, this one. This is, uh, I honestly don't know the plant, name of this plant. Uh, I would say this is a polka dot plant, but I'm not 100% sure of it. Uh, this is also a very pretty plant just like Fetonia. Uh, the colors uh, of these plants look really beautiful and um, I th th these plants do get leggy basically so you can see here they do get leggy and they kind of uh, don't look that pretty when they become leggy so uh, I did trim it down because they were kind of dying away when it got leggy so uh, I trimmed it and it has again started growing back. So this is, <coughs> I need to do more research on this plant on what the name is and how it actually needs to be really taken care of. But for now this is doing fine. So I'm okay with this. This is Fetonia, which uh, like this plant uh, and this, there are mix of uh, leaves in it. So you can see green, you can see there's some darker red ones and also a pink one. So this was placed outside and it was really getting bright light. And you can see the leaves did get bleached. You can see this one here, it is bleached. Even this, but now, the, now since I've got them inside, they're doing pretty okay. You can see here this red one, it doesn't look red at all, it looks so bleached. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, next is this peperomia, I told you about this. This is a peace lily plant. Now, honestly, I don't know what's wrong with this plant. It's been about, I would say, um, six months that I've got this plant, or maybe more than that. And I have never seen a single flower on this plant. I don't really know what the problem is with this plant, whether it is, you know, whether, even this was kept outside, but, but under a shade. Uh, but honestly, I don't know what's the problem. It never gave me any flowers. It always gave me only this kind of flowers and it didn't really grow much as well. So I am not sure what I'm doing wrong with this but I really hope to keep this alive and uh, I hope I do see some good flowers like how a peace lily is supposed to have. So that's one. This is an alocasia. I think this is called an elephant ear. I killed them basically. So there were two more uh, 
plants in this uh, I have now removed it and put them in a bottle and placed it near them in sink to see some new uh, growth in the roots basically I overwatered it and I killed it so since I uh, am a I'm, I'm very new at uh, growing these house plants I realized the I realized that most of my mistake is over watering the plants I probably give them too much water than they really need it uh, sometimes you feel that the surface is dry but uh, but underneath it would be really uh, you know damp so I have decided not to really water the plants until I until unless I lift the pot and feel that it is light so that's something that I'm planning to do now basically most of the plants that I've killed are because of overwatering. and another example is this one which which is I don't know what's the problem again maybe it is overwatered or it has some infection I don't know but I have it uh, I have now put it in a different um, soil and I I will monitor and I'll see how this does this is a zizi plant and this is a wonderful plant I will say because it's so 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 easy to grow and I am really amazed I mean all this this two three there's another one four and there's another small one over there five that is all new growth which has come in just about less than two to three months I would say and honestly I have neglected this plant I have neglected this plant so much but it just continues to grow so beautifully so I really love this plant and similarly this was a plant like that which was doing extremely well but one mistake of mine I just placed it uh, near a bright probably you can say a direct sunlight for just two days and this plant just fried this is a a uh, palm plant I think it's called a parlor palm I'm not very sure and all the leaves were like literally fried and it was so 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 uh, sad to see the plant like that I had to cut it off I had to cut it off and I really hope this does get some new growth but this was a very easy plant to grow it didn't really require much care I could have placed it in a low light condition and it would have it would have just done it very well so my mistake again and this 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 my god this is a uh, Calathea and honestly everyone says that Calatheas are difficult and they are so right because I just don't know what's wrong with this plant it it loves moisture but but I don't know if I've overwatered it and killed it or if it's because of the bright light. I have lost so many leaves. I have also killed one more Calathea. It was a different variety. But the leaves just end up curling and drying and you know these brown they were just curled up and crisped up. So yeah, honestly I don't know if I will be able to uh, keep this plant alive as well. I also have another plant uh, of which I've just uh, another plant the same plant I've just cut out all the leaves and have put it in another pot near the kitchen uh, To see if it really does well but uh, This is a very difficult plant. I will admit it and uh, I just hope they, they survive so, so that's it guys for this uh, bedroom. I will show you what I have in my uh, living room and in my kitchen sink area.